Hi there, this is Kenneth from Mapbird Music Studio Allen, and we're going to talk about three major guitar chords today. D major, A major, and E major. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, to begin with, we have our D major chord, and it consists of three notes, D, F sharp, and A. We're going to start with the F sharp. By taking our second finger, the middle finger, going on our first string, that open E string, on the second fret. So we have E, F, and F sharp with our second finger on that second fret. There's our F sharp. So then we take our third finger, we're going to go to the B string, third fret, and hold that down, and there's our D. So we have D, F sharp. For our third note, we need A. So we're going to take our first finger, in that G string or third string on the second fret for our A. So we have A, D, and F sharp. And because it's a D major chord, we can strum from the open D string, like so. And that's our D major chord. Up next we have our A major chord, which also consists of three notes, A, C sharp, and E. We're going to start with C sharp though. We're going to take our third finger, put it on the B string or second string, second fret. There's our C sharp. We're going to take our second finger and put it on the G string or the third string, second fret. So we've got A and C sharp. Now, for our E, we'll take the first finger and put it on our D string or fourth string, second fret as well, so that we've got E, A, and C sharp, which is the notes in our chord. We can strum from the A string as it is the root. Last but not least, we have our E major chord, which is just like the other two in that it has three notes. This time it will be E, G sharp, and B. We're going to start with G sharp. We'll take our first finger on that third string, the G string, and put it on the first fret. There's our G sharp. We'll then take our third finger and put it on the D string or the fourth string. That is our E note. So we've got E and G sharp. Last but not least, we need a B in there. So we're going to take our second finger on the A string or fifth string, second fret. And there is our E chord. Now, because of its nature, we can also strum from the open E string and the other two, which is also a B and an E. We're just doubling notes. We're not playing any new notes, but we're thickening that chord by doubling them. And there's our E major chord. So that concludes our major chords for today. We have D major, we've got A major, and we've got E major. If you or someone you know is interested in taking private music lessons, please check out our website at www.wantolearnmusic.com. Thanks and we hope to see you soon.